Hi, and thanks for joining me for this Padres post-game recap for May 1st with a Padres drop game three of this four-game set to the Cubs by a score of 6-2. to two. Six runs, nine hits, one error for the Cubs. Two runs, three hits, one error for the Padres. And really, it comes down to one thing. There was just too much Scott Feldman for the Padres tonight. The Cubs starter was absolutely masterful using his cutter and his two-seam fastball, using the cutter in on the lefties, sometimes backdooring it, using it away from the righties, and complementing it perfectly with a two-seam fastball to the arm side of the plate. It was just a great demonstration on how to use a cutter and a two-seamer to not allow the Padres batters to barrel the ball up at all. He finally started using a curveball a little bit as well later in the ball game, back door to left-handers, occasionally to put a right-hander away, but for the most part it was cutter, two-seamer all night. It wasn't until the eighth inning until the Padres were finally able to put a good swing on him, and it was Jed Jerko with his first Major League home run of his career. And then in the ninth inning, Chase Headley had a home run, but it was too little, too late. Feldman ends up pitching the complete game, striking out 12. Uh, he just did a fantastic job. Padres pitching, on the other hand, not a normal outing for Andrew Kashner. We're so used to seeing him being aggressive with his fastball and going after guys, using the secondary pitches more in the starting uh, rotation, but still basically going after guys. Tonight it seemed as though he was using his curveball quite a bit, using his changeup a lot. In my opinion, maybe a little bit too much. Uh, I think Buddy may have felt the same way. He went out and had a talk with Cash in the middle of one of the innings. And, you know, when Buddy goes after, it's usually one of those tough love type talks of, hey, you know, you got to kick it in. Let's let's get things going here. Let's stay aggressive. Uh, the next batter that Cash faced, threw him all fastballs, blew him away. But it didn't seem like that stuck with him. He kind of kept going back to the off-speed pitches. Just an unusual outing for him in not being as aggressive with his fastball as we normally see. As a result, he gave up five runs tonight. It was too much for the Padres to come back from. Anthony Bass threw three innings. Robbie Erland came in for the eighth inning, had a scoreless innings for his second outing of, of his major league career. Uh, but that was it. Too much uh, Scott Feldman, too much Cubs tonight. And tomorrow the Padres will have to try to even this series up by taking the final game of this four-game set. It'll be um, Eric Stoltz going for the Padres, coming off a little bit of a rough outing versus the Giants in his last effort, allowed five runs on four innings pitched. He'll be going up against Travis Wood, one of the tough uh, pitchers for the Cubs, so the Padres certainly have their work cut out for them tomorrow. Quick update on the injury report. Tyson Ross has started his rehab procedure down in Tucson. He's working out of the bullpen through one and two-thirds innings last night. Allowed three runs, apparently threw the ball pretty well, better than the numbers would show in the box score. Uh, but he's going to be working out of the pen. They're, they're concerned about him swinging the bat for the next couple of months at least. So his return to the big leagues will be determined by... Uh, the success that he has and how he throws the ball working out of the bullpen at this point. Logan Forsythe also on his way to coming back, has the boot off, is acting as a DH in Tucson, not playing in the field yet, not to put too much stress on that plantar fasciitis that he's trying to come back from, but at least he's swinging the bat and hopefully on the way on his way back to joining the big club soon as well. Tomorrow's ball game starts at 1.20 Chicago time. That'll be 11.20 San Diego time. Ted Leitner and myself will be bringing you the call on the Mighty 1090. We hope that you join us, and I appreciate you joining me tonight for this uh, post-game recap. I'm Bob Scanlon, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.